What's up? This is Ray Mack from Ray Mack's Kitchen and Grill. Today what we're going to do is some pork and beans, alright? So these are the ingredients that we have. Here I got some um, boneless um, pork ribs, alright? Got some boneless um, pork ribs, baby back pork loins. I'm sorry, boneless baby back pork loins. And then I have some um, honey baked beans, which are bush baked beans. And I have some um, country style baked beans and that country style got the thick um, sauce and the bacon and extra brown sugar alright and that's what I have in the cans and then for the veggies I got um a couple of these here green onions I probably just use just one and then I have a, um, an onion and I probably use half of that it all depends and then I have some of this here um three I got four stalks of celery, but I'll probably end up just using about um, two stalks of these. And for, and then the other thing I got is some McCormick's chili, mild chili. As you can see, I got a little bit more, a lot of this here, um, a lot of these ingredients. And then I got some more brown sugar. And then for my wet ingredients, I got some of this here, Lord Coakley's barbecue sauce you can use whatever sauce you like so with this recipe I'm going with Lord Coakley's barbecue sauce because it has uh, um, an awesome taste to it and that flavor profile that I'm looking for I think this will do it for me right here then I have some um, molasses and then I have some honey now for the seasonings what I have is some Mike D's all-purpose seasoning alright and then I have some um, garlic powder Along with that, I have some um, parsley, that's a herb, all right? And then I have some black pepper with some salt and some ground paprika. And I don't believe I forgot anything, all right? So let's go ahead and get into this video and let's get the cooking. I'm doing a YouTube collaboration with The Real Show Barbecue, and I'm also going to do a giveaway. If you want to win a twin pack of Coakley's barbecue sauce, whatever you do, stay tuned for the rest of this video, and I will give you details through the video. So, somebody's going to win some awesome barbecue sauce, and this is definitely a video you don't want to miss, so stay tuned. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put some salt on it. On this pork, we're going to put some black pepper. And then we're going to go ahead and add some of this here paprika. We're making pork and beans, y'all. All right. And then I have some garlic powder. And I'm doing a collaboration with Real Show, with the Real Show Barbecue. All right, he's from out of North Carolina, so I'm going ahead and I'm gonna put some of this here, um, Mike D's all-purpose barbecue rub in here. Like I said, I'm doing a barbecue co collaboration, and the Real Talk Barbecue. Y'all go over to his channel and check him out. He's doing a brisket, and I so we came together and we and I said I do since you're doing a brisket, I'm gonna do some pork and beans for side so I'm gonna take these and put these in the pressure cooker and fix these in the pressure cooker alright so I got that meat seasoned up so let's go ahead y'all and prepare the pressure cooker alright y'all I'm gonna go ahead and um, get started on this here cooking this in this pressure cooker I got a little oil I'm just gonna put just a little amount of oil up in there cause I'm gonna sear these pieces of meat off first and um like I said you seen where I cooked the um cut up the port lawn um baby backs 
and I season them up with the dry herbs, with the dry seasoning, not the herbs, I'm sorry. So now the only thing I want to do now is just sear this here meat up. And I think this meat right here be enough just for those two can of beans because it had two nice little slabs of the pork in, in that pack. So I'm going to use that other pack up and I'm going to marinate that and I'll probably throw that on the barbecue grill tomorrow. And we're having some cold weather here in North Carolina. So I got the meat um, in here and I want this to sear off a little bit. And like I said, I'm doing a collaboration with Real Talk Barbecue. You guys go over and check out his channel. Subscribe to him and tell him that Ray Mac sent you. I'm going to leave a link of his YouTube channel below in the show more section. So you guys go over and check him out. Tell him I sent you. And I'll be right back once this meat is seared. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and um, go to the next step here. I got my onions and celery and bell pepper. I only cut up one half of these, half of one bell pepper. And I cut up um, a half of an onion. That was a pretty large onion that I had too. And this right here is about one stalk of celery. So that was a half a bell pepper that I sliced up and a half of a large onion that I sliced up and that was one bell pepper that I went and um, sliced also. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and let this here cook down just a little bit before I do the next step, you know all right? Alright, I'm going to go ahead and add these liquids, but one thing that I did do, y'all, I added this here spicy brown mustard to the mix. Alright, I opened up the refrigerator and I seen it, and I say, man, I'm going I'm to try a little bit of this brown mustard. But I'm just going to use just a little bit of this, because I'm thinking that this spicy brown mustard probably give it a little added flavor. Tried and true. That's all I'm doing. Trying it and see if it's true. <laughs> so I'm just going to add a little water. So I can get this a little moisture because I am going to put the um, pressure cooker on this here, the lid. We're pressure cooking it. Alright, so I got a little water in there. I'm going to put in just a little bit of molasses. I think that'll be enough. What y'all think? A little bit more. Alright, go for it. A little bit more. Alright, yeah, that's it. Alright, just a little bit of that molasses. Boy, I wish I had me some biscuits right about now. I ain't gonna lie. Probably go to Bojangles and get a couple of biscuits for that molasses. And then we got some honey. Put that in there. Along with this here mustard. That's um, some French's Daily. Shake it up. French's Daily mustard. Just gonna put a little bit. That'll be enough. And then I'm going to add some of this here Coakley's barbecue sauce. About that much there, just to give it a little taste right quick. Because that, them beans going to do its thing. So I just want to stir this up. Get the flavors to come together. And I'm going to put the lid on this. And I want this meat to be very tender. So, in between time, I'm going to be um, sliding this off the stove and I'm going to check it just to see how tender it is. But for right now, I'm going to let this stay for about 20 minutes um, on the stove and then I'm going to check it later. So let me put the lid on there right now. Uh you could use your electric pressure cooker. Um, but I'm doing it the old conventional way and by me cooking it with the pressure cooker It speeds up the cook process for the meat so I don't have to cook it as long If you are using a stovetop pressure cooker with the weight on top be very careful because the steam can burn all right so you want to go and use your um, instructions that comes with your stovetop pressure cooker 
And whatever you guys do, please be safe. And if you do not want to use a pressure cooker, you could definitely cook this in um, in a regular pot. Um, just cook it until your meat is tender and your vegetables are translucent. All right. I want you guys to forgive me for the lighting, all right? But right now, I'm adding both cans of the baked beans. I'm telling you something, y'all. This is going to be one killer pork and bean recipe. My goodness, it could definitely go, go with anything. I don't care if you're having a barbecue or fish fry, in-house dinner, whatever. So, I'm adding the... um brown sugar to the beans right now along with the brown sugar um i'm adding in the ch the mccormick's chili seasoning and definitely y'all this is going to give it a deep and rich hearty chili flavor but we're still making pork and beans we're not making chili pork and beans all right so this is what we've got Let's keep it moving, y'all. Let's keep it moving, y'all. Let's keep it moving, y'all. Chill it. No, no. It's pork and beans. Okay, y'all. I'm tired of acting stupid, y'all. But yeah, I'm telling y'all something right now. Just mix it all together. Incorporate your brown sugar and the chili seasoning. And I'm guaranteeing you, you're definitely going to be in for some mad flavor. Are you ready for that giveaway? Are you ready for it? Are you ready for that giveaway? I want to thank my man Mike from Mike D Barbecue Sauce. He is the owner. He um, gave me a bottle of the barbecue sauce along with the seasoning to give away while I was with my man Chris over there at Hobo Barbecue doing the hot seat. So, Big Mike, I want to say thank you so much, my friend, for um, doing that for me. You're an awesome cat. And your barbecue seasoning and your barbecue sauce is off the hook. Along with that, I want to thank my man Lord Coakley from Co um, the owner of Coakley Barbecue Sauce because if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be able to give these um, twin give this twin pack away to a lucky winner. So this is what I want you guys to do for yo for those of you who really want to try this here barbecue sauce, the Lord Coakley's barbecue sauce. All you have to do is in this in the comment section just say, "Hey, I want that barbecue sauce." Just put those words in and I'm going to put you down and the next video that I do I'm going to tell you exactly who the winner is So if you want the twin pack Lloyd Coakley's barbecue sauce All you have to do is just say this I want that barbecue sauce Come on y'all But look at these here beans Pork and beans my, 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 they looking good. But at the same time, you guys go over and check out the real show barbecue. He's doing a killer brisket over there. I know it got to be good. If it's smoking on some wood. Here we go, y'all. I want to say thank you so much for checking out Ray Max Kitchen and Grill. And I want you guys to be, just be yourself. Whatever you do in life, be yourself. Don't be nobody else. And enjoy life. Love and not hate. But hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification button. Give me a thumbs up. Comment on this video if you like what you see. Because, okay, it's me. Bye. Peace. Love each and every one. On Sundays, we will be trying something new. It is called Subscriber Shoutout Sunday. So, if you have a YouTube channel and you would like to have a shoutout for your channel, all you have to do is go to the Show More section and fill out the subscriber form. And you will get a shoutout from Ray Matt's Kitchen and Grill. Now, this is another thing I like for you guys to do. Visit me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And also, subscribe to my channel by clicking on my picture. And you can also check out this video while you're here so thank you love and not hate peace love you all before i go love somebody and hate nobody peace